Hello and welcome to our special episode featuring the Jagan Institute of Management Studies, an academic institute that has swiftly risen to the ranks under the wings of a visionary leader. Beyond its state-of-the-art ambience and top-of-the-line infrastructure, what seems to truly set gyms apart is its commitment to the philosophy of practical learning. After completing more than 25 years of existence, we have started emphasizing more on quality and excellence. And in that case, what we have done is that we have ensured that our gender ratio is good. Second thing is, uh, we make institute as far as possible a residential campus. We'll have to make it a residential campus. This is another plan. And what we want to do in excellence is that instead of purely a teaching institution, we become a teaching and research institution. We caught up with the gym's director to understand what makes it among the country's most celebrated management institutes. Ma'am, to kick off this conversation here at the Jagan Institute of Management Studies, how do you attempt to bridge the gap between academia and industry? At Jagan Institute of Management Studies, Sector 5 Rohini, we really understand that industry is one of our biggest stakeholders and one of the very important ones. So we try to take a lot of measures wherein we try to bridge the gap between the industry as well as the academia. We encourage our students to take up live projects with the industry. We encourage them to go for summer internships, work in the industry, and really get a feel of how the industry really works. And to understand what are the challenges that they face, what are the different domains in which they operate, understand the different sectors of the industry, as well as to have a ground numb feeling of what happens in the industry and the corporate world. Well, on our short time on this campus, we can't help but notice that it is state of the art. So walk us through some of the amenities and facilities on offer here and how they ultimately shape the students' learning environment. I think it's very important to understand that the state of art is a secondary aspect. What is very important for any institute to thrive and survive is to impart knowledge. So we work in terms of the state of art infrastructure. The first thing that is very important and we really focus on is building a efficient library. So we have a lot of online databases apart from the hard books or physical library presence in terms of books. So we really you know, can boast our uh, library as a state of art infrastructure. We also have digital labs and communication labs on our campus to facilitate a learning environment for students. Apart from visual aids, we have uh, digital classrooms, digital class boards. I feel that technology is really playing a very important role in creating a state-of-the-art infrastructure and we've really tried to use that in our campus. And what do the placement statistics look like? What sort of placement opportunities are gym graduates, are gyms graduates privy to? Talking about the placement opportunities, we have different set of corporates coming in from different industries. So we have a lot of FMCG companies that, are, that come to our campus, as well as financial companies. We have a lot of consumer durable organizations, automobile companies, NBFCs that visit our campus. Apart from these uh, standard companies, we also have a lot of startups that recently have started coming to our campus, including Baiju's, including Make My Trip, Oyo Rooms. They're all coming to our campus to recruit the young minds, and they know they understand the power of these millennial workforce, how they can actually contribute to their future growth. Sure. And what is the feedback you receive from employers? Do they believe that gyms graduates, for example, are more future ready when compared to the competition? Talking about the feedback that I get from recruiters is, uh, I can share with you that we have many recruiters who are regular recruiters who have been coming to our campus from the last 10 to 15 years and they've been regularly recruiting our students because every year our passed out students have been performing well. When they're coming back again, that is a, itself a proof that they're happy with my students and they are employer ready and they're able to deliver as per their expectations. They understand what goes on in the industry. They, have not, they do not have to be taught again or trained again. So many of my students, irrespective of whether they get training or not, they are readily employable, readily able to take up the roles in the organizations. And if we were to speak to one of these students personally, how do you believe they would describe the gyms on campus culture? 
when you speak to the students here on the campus, the culture that we have built in, we work like a family. So we are all involved, whether it is a teacher or an administrative staff or a student. We all work like a family and there is one main goal or an agenda that we all work for that is the development of my student as well as the overall community. In fact, if you look at my vision statement, it talks about inclusion, it talks about community development, it talks about growth and serving the entire academic community and fraternity as well as the industry which is communicated by my student when he represents the corporate world once he passes out from here. Given your tenure serving as the director of this institute, how has it shaped your personal and professional growth? I've been part of this institution for quite a long time and I've worked at different designations starting with the faculty, handling corporate placements as well as research department. So now handling a role of a director is a little difficult one and a challenging one because now I'm not just a part of them, but I've become their superior. But it has been quite an interesting journey at GEMS. And in fact, I would like to boast on that, that the retention ratio here of our staff, including our administrative as well as non-administrative, that is faculty, has been quite good. Many of my staff members are more than 20 year old association with the institute at different capacities. And I feel it's quite challenging to be with them and quite it's, it's like a family, so we imbibe those uh, you know, family values that we've learned and in fact a lot of exposure that we've got from gyms and many of my students who have gone out have that kind of feeling still imbibed in us. They come back to us as alumni, take up roles when we expect them to come and deliver lectures to their youngsters, come up and take up preparatory sessions or attend conferences and seminars and a lot of alumni association events that they're involved in. So it's the culture from the day beginning that they joined us or the staff members or the students that they've been working like a family. And what role do institutes like gyms play in the shaping of our nation? Gyms as a private sector institution, uh, I think it's playing a very, very important role in delivering the core objective of, you know, upcoming or increasing the higher education standards in the industry. If I look around, the number of students which require education are much more than the number of academic institutions which we have in our country. So I feel it's a very pioneering kind of a role that uh, private institutions are doing. In fact, they are you know, they are acting as an enabler and a supporter along with the public institutions to create a one objective which the government of India also has of education, spreading higher education among the deserving candidates. Ma'am, thank you so much for your time and we wish you continued success. Thank you so much. The curriculum at the Jagan Institute of Management Studies is rich and varied and the campus state-of-the-art yet serene, offering all imaginable amenities under a single roof. To experience it for ourselves, we met with its founder under whose leadership Jagan has flourished. Jim's is so well known for celebrating a spirit of entrepreneurship. Very curious to understand how much of that is organic versus strategic. See, I'll tell you what it is uh, started with strategic and now it has become organic because initially when the students had started talking about entrepreneurship they were not clear what would it lead to but with some success stories now it has become organic we initially gave them some kind of seed funding we have an incubation center at Gurugram separately for this we have uh, entrepreneurs coming in discussing with students discussing with the faculty tell them what are the latest startup community doing, what are the government rules and regulations. This has slowly turned it out, more and more entrepreneurs coming out from the campus and this is leading to a cascading effect by which I mean the juniors are picking it up from the seniors. So now it has become more organic, starting from strategic five years ago. Well sir, one of the leading criticisms of the Indian education system is that while we are churning out graduates, they are not employable per se. So how do you respond to that and how do you tangibly attempt to reverse that trend here at the Jagan Institute of Management Studies? Uh, I would first like to comment on the macro situation. If you find uh, more unemployable students, I think the reason is that we expanded too much. 
uh, initially when the demand for higher education was there, maybe the mapping of the number of institutes required and the number of uh, institutes which were actually open was not correct. So therefore, the number of institutes kept on opening wherever it was possible. So therefore, the number of supply of the students also increased. Now the situation is getting much better. In the recent few years, the institutes which were not able to provide what the industry needed are definitely closing down. The numbers which would be left would be only who can cater to what the industry needs. At GYMS, we are very, very clear that if you run a program at GYMS, it should lead to employment. If not employment, the person should be able to open his own business. So we have entrepreneurship as a very core part in the entire course structure. At GYMS, we have course revisions very regularly. So I'm sure we would continue to beat the trend of uh, unemployment or I would say the people not being skilled. The person who passes out from GYMS, he would immediately get employment and would be able to cope up with the skill sets required by the industry. So you're spearheading so many initiatives unique to GYMS. Which of these are the ones that you're perhaps most professionally or personally proud of? I think uh, currently my focus is more on faculty development. We started a fellowship program in management two years back and I personally feel the backbone of any management school is good faculty. So if I'm able to have faculty who knows what has to be taught and they're prepared for what the industry would need in the next five years rather than teaching what the industry needed two decades back, sure. I would be done. So my main focus right now is developing the right faculty. It's time for a short break, but our special feature, Jagan Institute of Management Studies, Shaping the Future of Management Education, continues on the other side. So don't go anywhere. Back to our special feature, Jagan Institute of Management Studies, shaping the future of management education. Sir, how would you describe the quality of management education in this country when compared to global counterparts? I think uh, we are doing a great job now. Though we have been criticized internationally that we are too theoretical, but I think in the last one decade, most of the management schools we have realized that the industry input is a great factor for the success of the students. At GYMS also we have started introducing MOOC programs. We have industrial training. The industry comes regularly to the, uh, to the institute. Also in the curriculum we would, you would find that we have brought in so many changes like digital marketing, Excel formatting. In the account section we have uh, most of the, uh, I would say, finance companies which are very, very powerful at the global level being covered. So I think we, have, we are doing a decent job uh, because if you feel uh, that the global counterparts are getting better jobs than us, it's not the case. Even the European schools are struggling to even find one job for an for an Asian student. And here, we have practically 100% placement. So we're doing a f fine job. And how would you describe the strength of the gym's alumni network in India and beyond? We believe that once a gym student, a member of gym's family forever. We have been very focused on the alumni. I myself personally have traveled all across the country to hold coffee meets where we meet the gym's alum at a very regular basis. And the response has been phenomenal. I have the kind of warmth which I get when I meet them and the kind of networking it leads to after those small coffee meets, I think has led that the entire alum is well connected. They meet each other quite often and have been supporting each other in their, not only in their business endeavors, but also at a personal level. So I think the Jim Salem network is very strong. And there's such a varied set of stakeholders in the management education ecosystem between students, parents, faculty, administration, employers, and the list goes on. So how challenging is it to essentially manage their competing interests and aspirations? See, everybody has their own goals to achieve. The industry people feel that they should get students at a very low price and with the best possible, highest possible skill set. Right. Parents want that the students should get employment opportunities according to the comfort what the parents feel that it is good. Absolutely. We try to create a balance. We have been trying to mentor not only the students, but also the parents sometimes to tell them what exactly is good for the child or the ward. Industry are facing their own problems. So we 
are trying to maintain a balance and giving them what we feel is good for them or what's going to be good for them in the long run. And ultimately, what's the legacy that you'd like for the Jagan Institute of Management Studies to leave behind? Transparency and honesty is the key for any educational organization. And this is what I feel I've, we should leave behind. So thank you so much for your time and for taking the opportunity to speak with us. Pleasure was entirely mine. Thank, thank you so much. With its renowned faculty, deep commitment to its students' academic and extracurricular excellence, the Jagan Institute of Management Studies is creating an environment management students find most conducive for higher learning. As a part of our co-curricular program, department always strives to make an ongoing engagement with the community around us. Our involvement with industries and organizations to make our students ready for the real-life corporate world. We always promote emerging technologies in the field of IT and in support of this we conduct various seminars, workshops and guest lectures for the students. And besides the course curriculum, we have been gathering information about the latest trends in the market for which we have been regularly organizing industry academy meets, panel discussions, LMNI meets for the students. And now we bring you a 360 degree perspective on the gym's experience. You'll hear from everyone, from staff to students and alumni to administration. Have a look. Gyms is a professional institute, but still I think that it's the interpersonal skill, the personal touch which we used to get from the teachers, the personal grooming which we used to get from the teachers, that were very helpful. And the corporate exposure, we used to have a lot of outside events that has really helped us to uh, shape the, uh, our future in the long term. So we in the classroom uh, focus on the theoretical clarity of the concepts along with the practical exposure from the beginning of the curriculum, beginning of the program, we focus on the corporate interaction. We, we provide the platform to the students in terms of the communicating to the professional, the corporate professional, to get mentored by him. And we keep on organizing various guest lectures, uh, industry meets, mall visits, uh, store operations and store uh, visits to the students. The teachers here are the best part because the teachers are not just a full-time faculty but more of uh, an experienced uh, consultants of industry and many of them are even working right now in the industries. This gives us an advantage because we understand the theoretical part through case studies and not just books. With the staff deeply committed to academic and extracurricular excellence and the holistic development of management professionals, it is no wonder that Jagan Institute of Management Studies graduates have enjoyed placement at the world's leading organizations. We are very proud to say that we uh, develop industry-ready professionals and these professionals have been praised and acclaimed by industry leaders as well. Uh, we do a lot of hard work in developing the curriculum and this curriculum is uh, developed taking into consideration all these stakeholders. We invite industry professionals, we invite alumni, the students, their parents and ask them what is it that they would like to learn in the next two years of their life. The learning interventions that we designed are carefully uh, taken into consideration that we imbibe classroom learning as well as outside the classroom learning. With intellectual development, uh, there's a lot that we are doing in terms of pedagogy and this pedagogy involves classroom exercises, experiential learning, case study methods and all those methods where the student involvement is more. Jim's has been invoking the imagination and untapping the potential of young minds for nearly three decades. preparing them for personal and professional excellence. Our engagement is not only with books, but also with the environment, the corporate environment in which we look forward to work in. With an infused sense of confidence, backed by a versatility in their talents, Jim's graduates are making their presence felt far and wide. And shaping the future of management education in the process. While within the bounds of the classroom, uh, the students uh, get the right drill for entering into the industry. Outside, they experience a lively and vibrant campus. Here at gyms, we have uh, several clubs 
like marketing club, finance club, HR, entrepreneurship. And then there are several societies uh, like the cultural society, the literary society, um, the social club. All these clubs are actually steered by students, student teams. And then they have a mentor to look after uh, all the activities. Um, these activities that the students and their mentor uh, conduct, they conduct for the entire student group. And uh, they are within the campus, outside the campus. We've had uh, several national and international level events uh, being organized by these clubs and groups. The placement activity in our college is uh, also student driven. We select four students from each section and they come along with us in the market to uh, uh, present the gyms in front of a corporate. And uh, in that process, they also uh, come to know that what the expectations are there of the corporate. And corporate also comes to know about our students that uh, what quality of students the gyms are having. Well, that brings our special feature, Jagan Institute of Management Studies, shaping the future of management education to a close. I'm Pooja Jain, signing off from the Jim's campus in Delhi. Thanks for watching.